Hey guys, it's Dean. Welcome to Manful Yoga. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what you should and should not be feeling while doing cat cow or cat camel. Let's start with what you should not be feeling. So, you shouldn't be feeling any craning or pain in your neck. You actually shouldn't be feeling any pain at all when you're doing this exercise, but particularly, you should not be feeling any pain in your neck. So, as you arch your neck, and usually this pain happens uh, when you arch your neck. So, as you're doing a cat cow and you're arching your neck, you want to think lengthening as much as possible. So I'm not just looking forward and up. I actually want to create length by pushing my, the top of my head away from my shoulders, pulling my chin in toward my throat, and then I can safely arch my neck. Right? So that's going to help me arch my neck. Uh, I kind of bring my cervical spine into extension um, while keeping my neck in a safe position. So number one, uh, you should not be feeling any pain in your neck, and if you do, chin toward your throat, lengthen your neck. Second, if you have any spinal pain, uh, you shouldn't be feeling any spinal pain. Again, no pain at all. If you do feel uh, pain in your spine, you want to reduce the depth of the bend and the arch. So if you feel, or the rounding and the arching. So if you feel like you have pain uh, when you're rounding or when you're arching, just don't go as deep. The other thing you can do is increase your thigh and your core engagement. And one really easy way to do that is to put a yoga block between your legs. So you still have your feet or your knees hip width distant. You're just going to put a yoga block between your legs and firmly hold that yoga block. And that will help uh, when you have your legs and your core engaged, that helps to protect your back. So that's another really easy way uh, to, prevent, um, to prevent back pain. And then finally, if you have pain in your wrist, maybe you have pain in your wrist when you put your hands on the ground, you can make fists instead, instead of planting your hands on the ground in a traditional plank or traditional tabletop position. Uh, in terms of what you should be feeling, you should be feeling opening through the front and the back of your torso. So this is a stretch to target the front and the back of your torso. As you're arching your back, so as you're lifting up and inhaling, you're going to feel stretching from your abs up through your chest. As you're rounding your back or as you're flexing your spine, you want to feel stretching through the mid-back um, and through, well, through your entire back, actually. So um, you should be feeling stretching in your spine as you're doing this. Uh, you should feel kind of a relief of stiffness as you're going through this exercise. Um, and you should kind of feel an ability to go deeper and deeper into the pose uh, the more reps that you do, as long as you're doing them slow and in control. And that's what you should and should not be feeling in cat cow. All right, hope you guys found this video useful. Make sure to check out the rest of this page for more information on this pose, including considerations, proper technique, uh, modifications, how to make it uh, easier, and FAQs, and a bunch more stuff. Uh, hope you're using this pose guide. Hope you uh, check out the rest of the website. Make sure you're using the training resources. Uh, check out the members area if you haven't seen that yet. And uh, all the information that I just gave you is pretty much taken directly from my book, Yoga Fitness for Men. If you're looking for a physical resource to help you learn yoga and practice the postures, that is a fantastic resource. Uh, it's a number one new release in three categories on Amazon, featured in Muscle and Fitness Magazine, and also in Men's Health. Thanks, guys, for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.